Before this video starts, I'd just like to make an announcement. I have the Liberal Tears mug uh, for $14.99 on my website. It is the first link in the description if you want to go pick one up. Um, don't worry if it breaks when it comes to your house. I'll send you another one for free out of my pocket. I don't care. I want you to get your Liberal Tear mug. Uh, it comes in uh, Liberal Tears white with the face, black with the face, white without the face, and black without the face. So pick whichever one you want, and it'll come to your door uh, in about three to five days. So that should be epic. First link in the description. Thank you. Let's go on with the video. Yes. And my first. This one, the left, the left hated this one. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I was not a fan either. Uh, <laughs> but good. I'm glad you came in. Yeah. Thank you. Um. So I was wondering. You said that if you had to go find a cheap X-ray or a cheap armchair, you would go to find an armchair. Because... If your life depended on, you have to find a chair today and buy it now. Yes. Versus you have to find an X-ray and buy it now. You would buy the armchair. Yes. Yeah. So my question is, part of what allows you to find a cheap armchair is that there's such a difference in quality. Yes. You know, you can go and buy a chair that's five bucks, probably going to break soon. But yep. So with healthcare, which I said I, in the piece, actually. Yeah. Yeah. So with healthcare, it, if it's something you don't, you don't really want to go like some guy who's offering a five dollar X-ray and say, "Hey, you want an X-ray?" Uh, you know, Why? So, uh, because if it, your life depended on it, I don't think that it would be a situation where you'd be willing to risk the... So let, me ask, so let me ask you this. Why should an x-ray cost $200, $1,000 through an insurance company? It's literally a machine. An x-ray technician takes a picture of it and then sends it to a radiologist who actually looks at it. Um, well, right. Or first, a doctor looks at it. So I don't know enough about the healthcare industry to answer that. But the I reason I'm saying this is because what I'm saying is that the health, one of the reasons these things are so much more expensive and so much less competitive is because you do not actually have a free market in healthcare. You have a heavily, heavily regulated market in healthcare. If you want cheap x-rays, you have to have a competition in the x-ray business. There is no competition in the x-ray business. You can't go and look up a list of x-ray companies that are going to give you an x-ray today and then call them for the lowest price. In fact, if you go into the doctor right now and you say, I want you to take a look at this x-ray, how much will it cost me? The doctor will tell you, I can't give you that answer. Right? The doctor will tell you, I'm going to have to talk to your insurance company, or maybe I'm going to have to run it through my, my system, and then I'll get back to you. Is there any other product in America where if you went into a restaurant and you said, how much is that cup of coffee? They said, Eat, drink the cup of coffee, we'll tell you later. <laughs> right? It's not a free market. The point that I was making with the armchair comparison is not, of course, that armchairs are morally equivalent to healthcare. Obviously, people need healthcare more. Okay? Perhaps, a better, perhaps a better comparison would have been bread, right? because mm -hmm. people need bread. Okay, but the reason that bread is cheap is because there's a free market in bread, not because government is subsidizing bread. So the point that I was making is if you actually want to increase supply, the point I was making in that column and overall about this is that healthcare is not a right. Healthcare is a commodity. And the difference in between those two views is that if you think healthcare is a right, now you're going to use the government to cram down on doctors that they must serve you at a particular price, or cram down on taxpayers that they have to pay for a certain level of your care, or cram down on insurance companies that they can't be insurance companies anymore. They have to be health coverage institutes, essentially, which is when, when they say that you're, you have to accept pre-existing conditions, it's not an insurance company anymore. If you had a fire insurance company and they said you have to accept pre-existing conditions, it would just be called the piggy bank. Right? You'd burn down your house and then go get fire insurance. So that's, the insurance companies don't work that way. So the point I was making is if you view it as a commodity, you're going to end up making it cheaper, more plentiful, more available, more competition. And the case in point of this is LASIK eye surgery, which is really unregulated. So LASIK eye surgery used to cost like $20,000 an eye. Now it costs three, dollars $4,000 an eye. The reason for that is because the insurance companies won't cover it and because there's a competitive market because it's really expensive, right? So lots of doctors now want to be optometrists or ophthalmologists and do this sort of, and do this sort of work. This is why my, doctor, my wife's a doctor, so I'm very passionate about this particular topic. Um, you know, they, they call it the, ro the road, which is the, the successful doctors, radiologists, ophthalmologists, anesthesiologists, dermatologists. All those people basically charge cash and don't work through insurance companies. Right? The, the, the vast majority of them work in high-level private industry, and that's, if you want to make a lot of money, that's what you do. And so what you're getting is in medical schools, if you're aiming for lots of money, you go into one of those four. You're not a primary care physician. You're one of those four. If you want more primary care physicians, what should you do? You should incentivize it. What Bernie Sanders and the rest of this crew want to do, they declare it a right, and then they take away the incentive. They declare it a right for you to have health care, and then they say to the doctor, you're going to work, and you're going to like it, and we're going to make you work. And this is why there's a black market in health care in Canada. There's a black market in Israel. There's a black market in the UK. It's why people come here from all of those places to get their surgeries. So here's the reality about socialized health care. Social, socialized health care is good for very, very basic things, right? It's like emergency care. The same way if you work at, walk into an emergency room today, 
and you need an x-ray, they'll give it to you regardless of whether you have insurance, which is true. This is why in California you have a major problem with illegal immigrants who don't actually have health care coverage walking in and to the ER and using it as their health care coverage. It basically, socialized medicine works the same way, except there is no upper echelon. They've made it equal at the expense of the upper echelon, meaning that if you now want a surgery, you've got to wait six months online for it because we didn't give any incentive for people to become surgeons. Right? There's no cost-benefit analysis there. If you want more of something, you have to incentivize that thing. And when you take away the market, there's no incentive anymore. That's the answer as to why, that's the very long answer as to why I say healthcare is more like a chair than it is like the air or water, because somebody has to provide it to you. Yeah. Thanks. Um, yeah. I'm gonna, I, thank you for your answer. I respect your reasoning. I also respectfully disagree. Um, could I just say one thing? Uh, Later this week, Sean King is coming to campus, and I think that it's really important that... Oh, I wish he had come today. I would love to talk to Sean <laughs> King. I would, I would love to see him that, but I also want to say I think it's important that, given the current uh, reality of the situation our country is facing, that you go and listen to a multitude of speakers from a multitude of diversity... I agree. I think everybody should go and listen to Sean King, yeah. and then I think Sean King should debate me. <laughs> Every time they raise minimum wage. Inflation, Every time. Inflation is gone. So what's up. happening in Seattle? Seattle's not working. Like people can afford it. Don't look in Seattle. Right now, basically the working class can only shop at Walmart. You're That's right. it. People's Every right. time the minimum wage is okay. raised. Yeah, you yeah. were right. I, I, I admit, you're right. I mean, you're right. It's a minor, small little tariff just to say it's a tariff. Well, it's a 266%. What was yours? Okay, what was yours? 25% on everything. Just admit it. Not just one little Just admit it. What, steel only? No, that's wrong. No, we're talking all products, buddy. All products coming from China. Yeah. yeah. But you said 45%, it's 266%. You just say, oh yeah, but I'm wrong on that. How come we go to Japan and we don't see Chevys and Fords on the road over there? How come it's all Toyota and Honda and then you come here and it's the so, same? So you, you, you don't, you don't you support your own point. country? So you, you don't support point. your own country? I, I have, I'm literally creating manufacturing jobs. I'm literally yeah, creating jobs that are coming from Asia right now. Look it up. I don't care. They still Look it up. They manufacture, they manufacture here in the U.S. in the U.S. division. No, not regardless. It's important. Yeah. If you like manufacturing jobs, you say you employ people, right? Yeah. Okay, well, then why would you want your, those jobs to go to China, then, which is where they're all going? What basically. kind of an insane statement is that? Like, who said that? What kind of insane statement? No, it's very clear what, what, that the manufacturing why would I want my the jobs to leave? is in China. I just created it. You just said you're what manufacturing. You do your competitors manufacture jobs to stay in China? Do your competitors what sense that manufacture overseas? Yes. What do you they're mean? bringing their products back over the United States. What do you mean? Right. Why and I'm just curious. Publish. Packaging. <laughs> uh, like, like. Like uh, cardboard, corrugated, postable, disposable packaging. Are you familiar with GPC, General Packaging Corporation? No, they're in Congress. I used to work for them. Yeah? Yeah. The majority of the workforce is only. Yeah. Well, I don't know what to tell you. Drops the price down for How many Americans. Do you, you know, drops the wages down. The table. Answer. Look, he knows he has. No, the answer is none, but you're, you know oh, what? Oh, it's none. Like, oh, yeah. Okay, it took you about five It's in minutes. Northeast Ohio, buddy. Go check it out. I don't out. care where you it is. Said, I mean, it doesn't matter. Trump's like, going to be president. Let, be listen, <laughs> the, the, the truth is, the reason I'm here is because of vitriol coming out of his mouth. I'm okay with Republicans and Democrats. I have no problem with either one. But what I'm seeing is the ugliest thing I've ever seen in my lifetime in politics, okay? Somebody has to come out here and say, you know what? Y'all been warned. Because if this guy gets in, it's going to get ugly. No, it is. Hillary. But it ain't gonna happen. It's gonna get real ugly it's, with Hillary. It's, it's gonna get, yeah, just like just like everybody thought the world was gonna burn down with Obama, right? He's a dictator. ISIS was all born with Obama. Look at ISIS. It didn't look at ISIS. They're much stronger than Al Qaeda ever was. Really? Look at ISIS. I mean, come on. Are you really gonna say the Middle East? The Obama do, you, do you know who, yeah, who you invaded know. Iraq, friend? I, I mean, come on. Pulled us out prematurely without a single plan oh, okay. for him. left all our tanks So he started the fire, and the fire department didn't stick around long enough. I don't. Agree that we should have been talking about Donald Trump. 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 Donald I've Trump opposed the war. Don't give them okay, all our fine. You know what? We have what we have now, and it happened because we invaded another country that didn't invade us. We actually violated international law that didn't invade us. So 9/11. With an international coalition, everybody just broke international you, you, you law, and no one was held accountable. You do realize that, right? Please tell me you realize that. My God, I'm going to get dumber standing here by you if you don't realize Iraq had nothing to do with 9/11. Please tell me you understand. Who's saying that we're all, we're all, we're, 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 we're
You want to talk about war. You want to talk about the Middle what East. The Obama Middle East is, is a direct line leaving from leaving Iraq to the Middle East problem. Leaving the Middle East destabilized was a bad thing. The, the war was bad to start. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we, we already more established that. It was Starting bad. wars is bad. What do you think Trump's going to do when that guy? I'm going to bomb the hell out of everybody. Trump opposed the war in Iraq. No, he didn't. Yes, he did. No, you know what? You're with InfoWars. Look it up. No, he didn't. It happened after the fact. Do you believe he will defeat ISIS, Donald Trump? Trump supports things like getting You're not going to defeat ISIS you still you st until you stop invading countries. That's how you do it. Because you, when people get bombed and killed, their kids grow up and they say, you know what? Screw that. I'm saying What would you do? What would you do? What would you do, what, what would you do if a plane came overhead? What would you do if a bomb came overhead and bombed you? You react. Well, we'd be dead. Exactly. You react. That's what's happening over there, friend. The analogy is the same. They're radical. Wait, why? Terrorists. They're going to cut off heads whether we bomb them or not. Why do you think people get radicalized? You're saying it's our fault that we're there. When you bomb people and you kill them, they get radicalized. Okay, I think we they can get radicalized agree. because you know, of their ideology. Wait, 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 wait. You know, you know, if you want to talk about 644 AD, then I can Don't just say we can all agree. You know, it's never going to happen. You know, okay. It's Muslim expansion, right? You, you, but, but you, you, you understand that, right? Okay. So this is the purpose for the Crusades. Okay. So you want to You know, you know that based on. Now we want to go back and we want to re argue the Crusades. You know, there's 52% of Muslims. You want to do that. Look, guys, 2016. All right? Let's stop killing people. You know, it's a real easy rule. 2016, yeah. let's have stop you, killing. Have you ever changed? You know what? Yeah, 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 it's about the only yeah, thing we're going to be able to do. You go yeah. yeah. over and tell ISIS this. Yeah. Well, yeah. I'll you know, stop you. You know, you know, a generation of you know, 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 you You guys are shooting this. Trump, 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 I'm sober. I'm sober. You may be sober, but you've been drinking. I'm too deep. No, I haven't. You're wrong. I'm sober. 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 I'm Legal or illegal? With or without papers. No, no, no. Are you are you for legal Muslim immigration to this country? Yes or no? You know what? If they got the papers, they can get So in. yes, that's yes, right? So what gives you the right to tell every Muslim that they cannot come into this country? Tell them, tell them only spend the money, argue. only, only make the money that doesn't say Donald Trump. Donald Trump's stance, Donald Trump's stance was to ban all Muslims until a security clearance. It wasn't banning them on a permanent basis. It's a, look at Google, Google it, man. Get a computer. Hey, Google. Google, Google it, the State Department rules. Department rules. Yo, rules. Yo, then Google the you UN man. resettlement let me refugee ask, package. Let me, let me look at that stuff. I mean, tell your kid, look on the line, look on the computer, I gotta man. tell my I'm kid. My kid's been watching well, Trump you're bringing since the day he announced his presidency. That's what I'm saying, so what are you teaching him? His whole entire school is behind Trump 2000. Ask him what he thinks about Muslims. Ask him what he thinks about Muslims since you brought him into this picture. Since you brought a child into this environment. Okay, of hate. I don't have a right to educate yes, my child. Okay, then what does he think about Muslims? How many, many, think about Muslims? How many of those Syrians have papers Muslims? and they have radical Muslims? Okay, so and there's Muslims a big okay. difference. So Muslims are okay to come into this country? Absolutely. As long as they, okay, absolutely. Okay, so as long as they have so security clearance. Wait, so they all have security. They, require they all have the same. You know how hard it is to get into this country legally? That's why people hey, come here illegally. You, know you, you know what? You know how many people do it every damn day? When you cut this every, grass, every day this people grass are coming in this country by legally. immigrants. These trees were trimmed no by immigrants. This tree was leaf blown by immigrants. Hey, okay? In the words of the court, ignorance is no excuse so for the immigrants, law. Immigrants, immigrants right? are the Trump. ones you're illegal right. or you're illegal. Ignorance, ignorance is no excuse for the law. I want an e-verify system. I want everybody that applies for a job to have a social security oh, okay. number. The Democrats no. want to put it. The Anybody Republicans, on a no-fly list. The Republicans, the Republicans. I can't purchase a gun.
go to your go to your go to your congressman and tell him you want the e-verify system activated so that anybody applying for a job has to type in a computer his social security number and it comes out if it's legal. The actually, U.S. Chamber of Commerce and the Republican actually, administration has stopped it. The Republican administration has stopped it. 20 years ago, 30 years ago, okay? Obama said, don't worry about so, all that. You know what, just Google it. Like I said, I don't have time. I don't have time. We need Democratic votes. I really don't, man. Come back in a couple of years or something. I don't have time. This points are invalid. This points are invalid. Let's find more reports on them. Trump! 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 I'm just stopping by to remind you that liberals are insane. <laughs> Social justice warriors are becoming more violent and triggered than ever before. Anyways, be sure to subscribe to KGP TV on YouTube and have a blessed day. Yeah, man.